All right, Dan. Do it with 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 Dan. 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 Do it with Dan. Caucasian Barrel. Because Cracker Barrel is offensive. And I vote that we change Cracker Barrel. Yeah, we don't want to offend anyone. We went to Caucasian Barrel to go get Reuben sandwiches. And I got recognized fucking twice. He got recognized twice. We were standing there flirting and talking and hanging out. And this dude walks up, like just inserts himself into our conversation. And he's like, do it, Dan? And Danny's like, yeah, man, how you doing? And I'm like, oh, his ego isn't going to be able to fit in the Camaro when we're done eating. It's just not. Dude, was he was really nice, wasn't he? He was, like, super nice. Yeah, really cool dude. I appreciate him coming up and talking to me. He's fucking stupid cool. He was, he was coming from Florida to uh, Fort Bradshaw. Was that it? Fort Bradshaw, I think. And that's where he's stationed at. And he just happened to be driving through town and stopping at Cracker Barrel, saw my car, and came in and was like, oh my God, it's Dan. And I was like, what's up? Yeah, so I hung around for a few minutes. I could tell the guy kind of felt weird with me standing there. I don't know if my resting bitch face was on or not. But I mean, I was just standing there letting him talk, you know, like, so, hey guy, whoever you are, uh, if I, if I was giving you the mean mug, I, I didn't mean it. It's just how my face is. <laughs> so, um, so I excused myself, you know, let them, let them talk. And then as soon as I walked away, they were like, bros, dude, bro, bro, dude, dude, bro. And I could see them talking and they're having a good old time. And then I came back and the conversation went like this again. So I don't know if it's because it was a chick or, you know, if the guy just felt kind of weird because he was like, so excited to see Danny. He was like, oh my God, dude, I can't believe this is happening right now. Like, you're doing with Dan. I can't believe I'm standing here talking to do it with Dan. <laughs> you can you can ask Laura this. I'm nobody special. I'm just a dude with a fucking microphone on my helmet. I just, I do this for fucking fun. And everyone that I meet, I'm super excited to meet every single person that comes up to me as, as a fan. But, you know, I'm not anybody special, so don't be like, oh my god, I, I'm so embarrassed to see you right now or whatever, because I'm just a regular dude. I'm so happy that I have people come up and see me, but I'm nobody special, so, like, you know, just talk to me like a regular person, and both of those guys were pretty good about that. Um, so, after we got done talking to him that recognized us... Then we're sitting down, like, we had just ordered our food, we were holding hands, like, we were that couple that makes you want to throw up, especially if you're single and you see us. And um, we were holding hands, we were looking into each other's eyes, we were hanging out. And the bus boy, Francisco, right? Fucking Francisco. Francisco came up to us and said, do it, Dan? And in my head, I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ. His car needs to be a convertible just to get the fucking head in on the way home. The look on your face was like, are you fucking for real right now? That I was... And, and but let, here's some backstory to, to Laura and me being recognized. It's not that she doesn't like it when I get recognized. She's just worried that my ego is going to get so big that I won't be able to, like, fucking contain myself. So that's the only thing. It's not that she doesn't like anybody that comes up and talks to us. It's just that she knows that I get really excited about it and she doesn't want to see my ego get to my head. I kind of feel like I need to help keep you down, bring you down to earth. Like you're pretty good about staying down to earth like yourself, but I can see where sometimes you get that little twinkle in your eye. And uh, I want I want Danny to be Danny always, you know? So I really truly think that, that you get excited because people enjoy your work, you know, and, and all that stuff. But, and I'm happy for you when they, when they do recognize you. But to be honest, that, that ego does, Kinda. 
Yeah, I gotta be careful, I guess, but man, I love it when people come up and say, hey Dan, it's awesome, I love your videos, or like I fucking just, it gets me right in the heart. I love it so much. So if you ever see me in public and you, and you see Laura next to me, Please come up and be like, oh my god, do it with Dan, you're the best person in the world ever. Just so she can so she can kick me in the dick later. Well, there have been occasions where he's gotten recognized and he's like, <laughs> Laura's Laura Lou who's doing Dan. Or, you know, his ego gets a little bit big. So so I feel like it's my duty. <laughs> it's <a> duty. <laughs> duty. <laughs> <laughs> to uh to make sure like everything stays cool and kosher and like the way that it's supposed to be, the way that, that he wants it. You know, if y'all come up and recognize him, that's awesome. I had one person come up to him and recognize him and me, and I was like, dude, that's fucking cool. <laughs> she gets recognized once, and all of a sudden it's fucking the best thing ever, and uh, it's totally okay when people come up and do that now. Yeah, but the, the kid, his name was TJ, and we were eating at Firehouse Subs. TJ's actually a friend of the bus boy that came up to you today. But at least, okay, TJ recognized me, so maybe he didn't get as much RBF as everyone else does. No, you totally smiled at TJ. <laughs> but TJ asked me to take the picture of him and Dan, and I was like, all right. But he took a picture with you too, didn't he? No, he was like, Laura, will you take a picture of me and Dan? And I'm like, fucking cool. I don't want to be in that shit anyway, because my hair looks bad. And, and I'll give TJ the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he recognized that my hair wasn't on point. Yeah, he, he was totally thinking that far ahead. He's like, oh shit, here we have this beautiful lady. I don't want her to take a photo where her hair's all fucked up. You wanna, uh, you wanna turn around? Yeah, it looks like it might rain. Let's go in there, you go first. Oh look, Aunt Jemima's here. Can we ask her if she has any syrup? You oh, see wait. her? You what see her? See? Oh, you miss her. You miss her. She's right here. She's got her shower cap on. <laughs> She's got her pajamas and her moo moo. Her moo? What the fuck's a moo moo? A moo moo is when, um, it's like a. Hold on. I need to stop for a second. It's like a, um, it's like a flowery dress. It's a flowery fucking, um. Like a. Nightgown. Okay, women, a nightgown. That it's like loose fitting that fat women wear into public <laughs> at Walmart yeah <laughs> after you my love damn you got deep on that one god damn I keep forgetting that there's not a sixth gear so I'm like up oh, nope let's switch positions for a little while that way we can do both yeah now I can look at your butt yeah the butt Arr, look at that you look really good on that like it's a good size for you because you're you're not tall. No, not by a long shot. But you're not short either, so that bike looks like it fits you very well. Is um is the 600 like physically different than the uh, 1000? I can't tell. Do you think the 600's smaller than the 1000 as far as like body style? Yeah, I think so. We'll put them next to each other when we get home, and that bump hurt my butthole. I've never seen a 1000 that could be um, lowered enough for me. Maybe we can slam my 1K. I just think the body style and the engine's bigger because even on my bike, I'm not flat-footed. Like, my heel doesn't touch the ground when I'm standing and I've never been able to uh, find a 1,000 low enough for me. I got foot rest now, that's kind of, it's kind of nice. This, this is the shit. I see why you put these on now. The footrests. No, I put the sliders on just in case I ever go down. No, 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 no. They're totally footrests. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. She's looking good. So, I don't know. I mean, maybe your viewers can, you know, enlighten me. You know, on, on tips to make a 1,000 fit. You know, like I'm like five foot two. I've got very muscular legs, which means that they're short. <laughs> if I ever thought I could get a bigger CC bike, I, I would. You you would uh, bump up to a 1000? I could probably, I mean, I can handle, I don't know. I mean, 
I don't really feel the need, you know, but if something came along and it would be suited to my body type, then hell yeah. That's exactly what I did. I wasn't looking for a 1000, but the opportunity presented itself and I was like, well, fuck yeah, that seems like the obvious decision, right? Yeah, I'm not in any hurry to get rid of that bike because that bike is just gorgeous. Look at him. He looks good on that bike, doesn't he? 